next on Good Taste. It's the best of the best. Barbecue, that is. It's a 10 of 10, that's for sure. Meet a pit boss whose stellar Q ranks tops in Texas. It's delicious. It, it melts in your mouth. Plus, the flavors literally leap off the plate. Get ready to go around the world in every bite. Cheers. <laughs> and when you want to celebrate in style, one place is calling your name. A boozy. A boozy. Good taste starts right now. Hi everyone, welcome to Good Taste. I'm Tangie Patton. We are deep in the heart of barbecue country where the art of smoking meat is serious business. You better bring the goods. At this Austin sweet spot, they're not only smoking meats, they are smoking the competition. Prepare your taste buds for liftoff. Cheers. Like the sign says, it's barbecue of the cosmos. Interstellar barbecue, that is because it truly is out of this world food. <laughs> truly. You. The journey begins here, in a strip mall on Austin's northwest side, with long lines stretching around the parking lot for what some say is the best barbecue on the planet. It's amazing, it's really, really good. It's my personal favorite barbecue spot. It's a 10 of 10, that's for sure. The pit boss here has a legion of fans including the folks at Texas Monthly, who just ranked Interstellar Barbecue second in the entire state. Chef John Bates is wonderful. He's always pushing the envelope. It's never just the same basic menu. There's a very high bar for barbecue, especially in the Austin area. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we're just trying to find our little niche here in the barbecue capital of the world. Um, so that means you've got to work really hard. And that hard work shows. Eating here is an otherworldly experience. The food is that good. Everything happens right here. So right now we've got finishing up a few briskets. They're in the home stretch waiting for their time to come off the pit. Oh, look at that. The pit crew works around the clock. Fire tending a smoky fries. Certified Angus beef prime brisket. Post oak is the predominant wood in this style of cooking. Uh, and it's a great wood for barbecue. It's, um, it puts off the right amount of smoke. It's kind of soft smoke and sweet. It's all about managing the fire. The end result is nothing short of spectacular. Yeah, it's rich, it's smoky, it's fatty, it's sweet, it's salty. It's like all my favorite things in life. No spaceship required for this celestial flight. Just let the stellar flavors take you away with every juicy bite. It's delicious, it, it melts in your mouth. There's something about barbecue yes. that elicits some sort of an emotional pull with people, right? Oh, I mean, yeah. people will stand in line for hours. Um, they will drive all over the state of Texas. Mouthwatering peach tea glazed pork belly alone is worth the trip here. That's fantastic. Definitely one of the best bites that I've had in barbecue period. Try the sliced brisket taco with its spicy avocado salsa. It's so good. Like a slice of heaven, each tender bit of brisket begs to be eaten. It's literally brisket, salt, pepper, and garlic, and then lots of smoke and time and patience. And love. Yeah, and a lot of love. Look at the bark on your brisket. Yep, that's a lot of love right there. You're not kidding, <laughs> it's a whole lot of love. Oh my gosh. We got some sweet peach tea glazed pork belly in here and it's been smoking for a while. We're gonna get it out. With Interstellar Smoke Pit right outside the front door, you might say this innovative eatery uses smoke signals to lure customers in. You can certainly smell it. It's definitely our calling card. I mean, having a big thousand gallon pit in front of your restaurant, uh, kicking out smoke and the smells of brisket cooking is the best advertising in the world. You can pick any dish here and find a new favorite, like this creamy pimento cheese spread. I've only had one cracker worth so far, but it's great. <laughs> we like the salad, the slaw, the scalloped potatoes. The mac and gouda, can't go wrong with that. John's passion for fresh ingredients and scratch cooking shined the first time we met him here, 
So where did you learn barbecue? Um, well, it's an art form. It is. I really learned uh, kind of watching my, my family cook barbecue. I ate a lot of wild game. Uh, me and my dad were avid really? fishermen and hunters. So you had a nice background going into a barbecue. I think so. Genre yeah, as well. Really you have a, your family has a fascinating history. You are <laughs> Texan through and through. So our family history can be traced back to about eight or nine generations to the original old 300 that came to Texas with Stephen F. Austin. Who taught you to do something other than barbecue? <laughs> well, marrying a vegetarian helps. Um, <laughs> I bet. Um, I told the team one of our goals was we want to make sides that are just as important to us as the meat is. Among those amazing sides are these incredible, cheesy, smoked scallop potatoes. Yes. How did these amazing <laughs> smoked Gouda delights come to be? So you can attribute that to my vegetarian wife as well. Thank uh, you. <laughs> layers of potatoes with tons of garlic and salt and cream and cheese, all the things that make oh, potatoes great. Oh my gosh, and smoke. Yeah, and smoke. That's phenomenal. For dessert, scrumptious Mexican chocolate rice pudding or the creamy, dreamy banana pudding, which some say is the best they've ever had. It may not be outer space, but Interstellar has no shortage of stars. I think it's the best barbecue place in town. Whether you live South Austin, North Austin, whether you live in Houston, drive out to Interstellar and see for yourself, it's as good as it looks, even better. It is well worth the trip no matter where you live in Texas. Fantastic, thank you. Thank you. Hope you're still hungry because we are in the Goya kitchens with the executive chef Fernando Deza making a super easy, super healthy dish, right? And so we're making a Mexican style shrimp cocktail, very crispy with our Goya plantain chips. A lot of flavor about to happen. Okay, show us what we do. To start, we just pre-cook some shrimp, just put some Goya adobo, marinate pretty well, then blanch them for about two minutes. Then after that, we're gonna add some sliced onions, diced jalapenos. Ooh, a little heat. Season with some Goya Sazon with achote and culantro. Then we're gonna add some Goya lime juice. Put in the fridge for about one hour to two hours. All right. Until well chilled, then ready for next step. Too easy. We're gonna add some Goya tomato clam mixer. Perfect to enjoy with drinks or with this kind of recipe. And after that, some Goya ketchup. And then some Goya tomato sauce. Tomato sauce that's already seasoned, yes. right? Yes. So you got all the flavors that we want of the Latin spices. Then we're gonna season with some Goya adobo with pepper. We're gonna add some Goya hot sauce. <laughs> Mix everything in, let it rest for five minutes, then ready to serve. All right. And then some Goya plantain chips or mariquita, they're so good, crunchy, perfect to dig in with the shrimp. There you go, good, delicious. Mmm, there's a lot of flavor going on in Pretty there. Pretty good, right? Simple but delicious. I love it, delicious and we have the recipe online. Fernando, thank you. Thank you. Coming up, it's time to celebrate the French way. But first, Opa! we're sending your taste buds on a whirlwind trip around the world. We'll save a bite for you next. Cisco, at the heart of food and service. What better way to travel the world than through your taste buds? We've indulged in cuisines from all over the globe. One of my favorite spots is right in the middle of downtown Houston. Sweet, buttery baklava, delicate Turkish delights, thin slices of lamb, beef and chicken shawarma, infused with exotic spices like turmeric, cardamom, and cinnamon. It's amazing. Flavors from far-flung corners of the world converge here at Phoenicia Specialty Foods and its own hip global gastro pub next door called Market Bar. My favorite thing to order is the vegetable curry pot pie. Or try the unique chili, packed with chickpeas and fava beans. It's fantastic. Oh, but... that's good. I love the lemon in it. They've got their own take on tacos, too. Lamb shank on tanur bread, topped with cucumber, orange, and fennel salad, then drizzled with mint labneh. Mm. Oh, I love that sauce. This is one eating adventure that deserves a spot on every foodie's bucket list. Next, we're digging into some curries and kebabs at an uber popular spot in the capital. 
bubbling biryanis, smoking samosas, and incredible kebabs will tantalize your taste buds at Tarka Indian Kitchen in Austin. It's one of the best things to happen to Austin ever. The menu is filled with flavorful vegetarian dishes, like these potato stuffed samosas, topped with curried garbanzo beans and mint chutney. The flavors literally leap off the plate. Tarka's Beyond Kima Curry will ignite your senses. And look at the color and the ingredients. Kima Curry is typically served with ground lamb, but Tarka takes it beyond with vegan protein crumbles, potatoes, and peas. I love it. Yeah. That's fantastic. That's Indian food. Thank you. Up next, the Alamo City, where we found a spot with fantastic food that's a little bit Asian and a little bit Cajun. This eye-popping Asian Cajun cuisine from Pinch Boyle House in San Antonio is so good. Oh, that is so good. You gotta tweet before you eat. Oh my gosh, I love Pinch. This bistro serves up a slew of East meets West dishes. Start your meal with the must-have pinch fries, loaded with crab, garlic mayo, and sriracha sauce. Then there's the Thai chili wings. Okay, I get it now. <laughs> but it's the incredible seafood boils that put pinch on the map. You can get them with garlic butter, dragon sauce, or Chef Cap's coconut curry. That one's my favorite. Cap tosses that irresistible sauce with freshly steamed mussels, crab, crawfish, and shrimp. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yum. It's the best place. Our last stop is a hidden gem, an authentic Greek family style restaurant tucked away in a little beach town in Galveston Bay. Fire up your taste buds. We're going Greek. Oh 3,000 years of tradition, all on a plate at Bacchus Taverna in the scenic seaside town of Kima. Oh, I love Bacchus. Succulent souflaki, mixed grills with gyro slices, Greek salads topped with tangy hunks of feta cheese. All the food here is delicious. It's delicious, all right. The fire feta is a spicy mix of Greek feta, serrano peppers, tomato, and other exotic flavors. That's good. We have a lot of guests that come back just for this dish alone. But the real showstopper at Bacchus is the saganaki, a fried cheese appetizer. The cheese comes out bubbling hot. You can top it with shrimp, gyro meat, fajita, or chicken. Wow, it's like Greek fajitas, sizzling. Oh. <laughs> Wow, that is awesome. You'll taste Greek pride in every single bite at Bacchus. Very good. Who doesn't love a hearty breakfast on a weekend when you've got time with friends and family? That's what we're making today. We're in the John Soul's Kitchens with Claire Souls, and we're making something super easy with bees. These are absolutely delicious, the home style tenders that John Soul's makes. And Claire, this is something the whole family will love, right? Absolutely. So it's a breakfast grit bowl with lots of fun breakfast stuff in it. So definitely good for the weekends. Yeah. So the first thing we're going to do is pop these in the oven. All right. Just to warm through, they're already fully cooked. First thing we're going to do is cook our sausage and bacon. I love this sausage and bacon, right? Oh yeah. I mean, it's <laughs> breakfast. You have to have both. And we'll go ahead and take the tenders out of the oven. And then Tangie, I'm going to fry an egg while you chop some of these up. Okay. You got it. All right, and now it's time to make our bowl. If you give me a few scoops of grits in here. All righty, and then next we're gonna add our fried egg. <laughs> All right, and then if you wanna put the cheese and tomato on next, and the chopped chicken. Yum. All right, and then next you're gonna do a little drizzle of hollandaise. Hollandaise? Yeah, why not? Why not, right? It just screams comfort food, right? It's delicious. <laughs> You won't need lunch. It's a good brunch. It's a good brunch. I love it. Your entire family is going to love it too. We've got the recipe. Claire, thank you. Thank I'm you. I'm going back in. Oh yeah. Looking for a holiday gift for the chef in your life? Check out the cutlery at Mission Restaurant Supply. Coming up, 
Tis the season for fabulous wines. But first, have a taste of France to celebrate the season. That is fantastic. There's a seat for you at our table next. We'd love to share good taste. Head to our website at goodtaste.tv where you'll find delicious recipes from top chefs, my latest wine finds, and restaurant recommendations. Plus, you can see all of our episodes right here. Don't forget to sign up for our newsletter while you're there. Good Taste with Tangi is brought to you in part by HEB. Say bonjour to a landmark location in the heart of Houston, where diners discover a sensational patio and a name they won't soon forget. A boozy! A boozy! A boozy! And with a name like that, you know you're in for a cork popping good time. Bubbles, bubbles, bubbles galore. <laughs> Somebody says champagne and I say sign me up. It's just a perfect place. At Abuzi, there's plenty to celebrate. Like this savory roasted Cornish hen on a bed of baked green beans and mashed potatoes. Or this heavenly burrata cheese, just begging for a bite. From seafood to beef to vegetarian dishes, you can get anything you want here. And how about this stunner? We actually take our short rib, and it's been braised for about eight hours. Yeah. Mix it in with a little bit of ricotta, goat cheese, truffle. That is phenomenal. Oh my gosh, that is fantastic. There's just no shortage of festive goodies at a boozy. Lots of oysters, lots of champagne, because they're such a great pair together. This place is busy all the time, but this is the most celebratory place in the world during the holiday. It's a great atmosphere, and it's great for everyone. While the food is fabulous, what pairs with your meal takes center stage, champagne, which inspired the owner. The name here comes from its boozy namesake in France, champagne. But champagne is just the beginning. Fun cocktails and a superior wine list also await. You can come in and actually get a 1940 bottle of wine if you want. I mean, I've got stuff <laughs> that will actually blow you away with our pricing. The pricing's phenomenal. I mean, you can't find prices like this anywhere else in Houston. We're able to get champagnes that you're not going to find anywhere else. Not only just in Texas, but really in the U.S. Well, cheers. cheers. Thank you. Thank you. The eye-popping presentation here is like fine art. They have traditional items you're going to love too, like steamed mussels with fresh house-made fries, or pommes frites to be precise. Today we're gonna do a steamed mussels. Okay. Butter, a little bit of chili flake. Yeah, a little kick. So is it a bad idea to keep peeking under? Yes, because you let all the steam come, come out, so it doesn't help the muscles to open properly. So try to be patient, right? Yes. And patience pays off big time. And you serve it in the pot and everything? Yes. Then we cover I it up. I love that. And then we send it to the table. Ching, so ching. <laughs> Ooh, that is really good. There's truly a party in every bite and a celebration in every sip. At a boozy. If you want somewhere that you can be yourself, be free, and just have fun and relax, have great food, great wine and bubbles, come here. Well, here, cheers to many more years cheers. and many more celebrations. I'm from a wine finds. I drink sparklings all year long, but especially this time of year. This beautiful Collab Rosé is a lovely champagne. Tons of tiny bubbles and delicate fruit flavors of strawberries, cherries, even a hint of roses. Life is a gift every day, so celebrate. This Collet Champagne is up to the task at about $40 a bottle. I don't drink a ton of Chardonnay, but this one is lovely from Sokol Blosser. It is definitely winning a spot on my table. This gem has flavors of juicy pears, apples, even toasty bread notes. It would pair beautifully with cheeses, pasta dishes, chicken, and fish, even Thai food. It's a great porch wine too. The Sokol Blosser Estate Chardonnay is about $29.98 a bottle. I love that wine. Okay, up next, Take your taste buds on a delightful adventure with this Tapis 
Alta Collection Cabernet from Mendoza, Argentina. The winemaker here is said to have made two of the most famous wines in the world, Chateau Petrus in France and Dominus in Napa. Not a bad track record, huh? I love its enticing flavors of juicy blackberries, currants, cocoa, even a hint of wild herbs. An unbelievably good wine at an incredible price of about $20 a bottle. I love this wine. As always, I found all my wines, holidays or not, right here at HEB. When visiting Houston, the Good Taste team loves to stay at the beautiful Royal Sinesta, right in the heart of Uptown, conveniently located near the Galleria. What a year it's been. During this holiday season of love and giving, we want to thank you for joining us for Good Taste each and every weekend. We're grateful for you. And we want to hear from you too. Follow us on Instagram at Good Taste TV. Thanks so much for spending your time with us. We'll see you right here next week. Merry Christmas and happy holidays to all. And cheers to Good Taste. Big Merc. Big Merc? Yeah. And Hold on a second because that siren's going to be a problem. Hopefully they're not coming here. Hi guys. Maybe they're just hungry. Really hungry. <laughs> they're here to pick up their brisket. Right?